Bismillah. As-salamu alaykum wa noor to the family. Juma Mubarak and Juma Kareem. See, we have some beloved souls joining all praises. As-salamu alaykum, Sister Charter. Brother Ethan Native, Power 111, Power Fall, all praises. Yahya Ali Shafi. As-salamu alaykum. To you, inshallah, we will open up with a stock for lobby here in just one minute. While we wait for the brother Shem L to join us for his lecture this evening, inshallah. How's everybody doing today? Inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Um, all is well, brother. Wa alaikum salam, Sheikh. All is well. Ah, good to see you, Sheikh. Hey, hold on. Your name's coming up. Power 111 today, Sheikh Mount Bill. Let's talk for love. I'm the, that was the y'all code, right? That was the secret code. That was the secret password. All praise. You made it <laughs> to beloved Friday night, Dara. Alhamdulillah. Pull up a stock for lobby he for us. One second. Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Solo. Stop for law, stop for law, stop for law. The dear Sheikh Sufi Bad did a Jeff. The dear Bottom Dom did a Jeff. The dear Sheikh Zulu did a Jeff. If one has not made the intention to memorize the stock for lobby he we highly encourage all of us to at least try to read it once a day if not once a day once a week if not once a, we're just going to say to read it just look at it as often as you can inshallah and uh with the intention to be purified of all sins, known, unknown, committed, yet to be committed, and everything in between, Ya Allah. We ask a lot of continue to bless God, our Dara. Keep us on the straight path, inshallah. Protect us and our families, friends and loved ones, in and outside of our presence, Ya Allah. Protect us from ourselves, most of all, Ya Allah. We thank you, Ya Allah. We just thank you. All praises may you, uh, Give us wisdom, Ya Allah, and the knowledge that to be received this evening. Open ears, open hearts, inshallah. Purify our hearts, purify our minds, purify our characters, purify our intentions. Thank you, Ya Allah. We love you. All praises. Stop for Allah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allahumma salli wa sallam astaq fala bihi Allahumma salli wa sallam wa barik ala sayyidina wa malana muhammadin wa alihi wa sahbihi wa taqabal minni li wajika al karimi ka li ta'iban ilayka bi astaq fala bihi astaq fala ladim wa tu ilayhi min zawahadin wa min gayu astaq fala ladim wa tu Ilayhi min zawahadin wa min gayu. Sa'atuhu ba'aki wa jililaki. Ma'kfiritan min jumla til manahi. Tuktu la'u min jumla til saga'idi. Ma'al kaba'idi wa min dama'idi. Ta'firu likfir kuli ma'ta kadama. Wa ma'ta akara wa ma'a bayna huma. Fahimni alil ma'a wa zinni il ma'a. Wa amalan wa adaban wa fa'ma. Rabia likshi filulu ma'na fiya wa jalayati min shaka imaniya. Ik shifli ala surawa walga wa mida ya kaira man ka shifa suran ka mida. Nishma jamiya ma tafara kalada ka ti mina kari wa safil kalada. Bikul da tafa kudu la azama ya rabi bikun wa ta siman kalami ya. Abliya ya kuramu fitala wa kairan ka tiran min kawal halawa. Bari kuya la uma fi ayati wa jalfu wa di wa tana hayati. Habliya kauni bishra kuliman ya tu. Waliza wahira abin maya al-gayu. Kabu lana kunu bihi ta'iran min azanubi wa ma'asi. Wala fati wala ta'l-ad kula janata lati wida muta kumbi rahmatika. Ya Rahmanu ya Rahimu. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. 
Stop for all the demon of thee, lie like a who a halka you want to belay. Stop for all the demon of thee, lie like a who a halka you want to belay. Stop for all the demon of thee, lie like a who a halka you want to belay. Hundred stock for lies, inshallah. Uh, I'll fight to y'all one time. Stop for lies. Bismillah, I'll rap my name. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim, Maliki Yawmuddin, Yaka Nabuduwa, Yaka Nasta'in, Iti Nasir Al-Tamustakim, Surah Al-Tala'adina, Namta Alayhim, Gairu Magdubi Alayhim, Walado, Ameen, Stock for Allah 100 times, Inshallah. Stock for Allah, 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 Stock for Allah. Stock for a last, 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 stock for a last. Stock for a last, 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 a stock for a last, a stock for a last, 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 stock for a last. Stock for a last, 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 stock for a last. Stock for a lot, 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 stock for a lot. Stock for a lot, 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 stock for Ya ayala dinu amanu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mutasliman hope you believe surely Allah and the angels send prayers upon the prophet peace be upon him send prayers upon him in abundance prayers of peace inshallah bismillah ar-rahman ar-rahim salatu fatih allahumma salli ala sayyidina muhammad al-fatihi li ma'ublika wal katimi li masabaka nasiru laki bil haqi wal hadi ila siratika al mustaqim wa ala alihi ya kaqadrihi wal migdari ala dhim bismillahi rahmani rahim sallallahu ala muhammad hundred times inshallah sallallahu ala muhammad 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 sallallahu ala Allah, Allah, Muhammad, 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 Allah, Allah, Mu
Muhammed sallallahu ala 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 Muhammed sallallahu Muhammad sallallahu la Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. May Allah increase the Lord Muhammad. All of us, inshallah, increase our love for the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Inshallah, 100 la ilaha illallahs, and we will. Check on our beloved brother, Shek Shem El. Stop for Shem El, inshallah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. La ilaha illallah, 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 La ilaha illallah 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 La ilaha illallah, 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 la ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha shaykhi bufa, la ilaha illallah, 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 la ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah 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 
Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Kaf ha ya ain sor. Kaf ha ya ain sor. Kaf ha ya ain sor. Kufi tu kulada dadi nilahu bi sila ilaha dalahu. Abli muradi ya kama awahu bi sila ilaha dalahu. Ya siri al usra kama awahu bi siri ilaha dalahu. Allah, Nabi al-Mustafi al-Lahu, salibi la ilaha il-Lahu. Salatan mugnin bi salam al-Lahi, bi siri la ilaha il-Lahu. Barakay sirin salihu, 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 dari Jeff Shakib al-Fal, barakay. Serene Sally, who I mean. Subhanahu wa bikur bili zati mi asifum wa salamu ala mersaleen. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. As-salamu alaykum wa rahmatu Allah wa barakatuh. Juma Mubarak to the family. Insha'Allah. We have Brother Shem L with us this evening. As-salamu alaykum, Brother Shem. Wa alaikum salam. Sheikh Dari Jeff. Alhamdulillah. Inshallah, I'm going to give you some hosting capabilities so you can share your screen. Um, for those who don't know, this is a beloved brother who just joined our Dawah recently. Dari Jeff, uh, brother Muntaka and Mukhtar. All praises. He does have his bayat with Sheikh Ahmed Bamba. And we just appreciate this brother for sharing his time 
knowledge, wisdom, and understanding with us this evening, inshallah. Where are you, Shem? There you go. All praises you now have hosting abilities, my good brother, inshallah. The floor is yours. Or if you would like to give any type of introduction to yourself, all praises, that would be most welcome, inshallah. Asalaamu Alaikum to you, brother. Wa Alaikum Asalaam. Tara Jeff, Sheikh. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar-Rajim. Bismillah Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. I rise on the seventh, giving all perfect praise to Allah. I give honors to all true and divine prophets. I give honors to all of the sheikhs and sheikhs um, that have shared the great light for us to uplift us and bringing us back to the oneness with Allah. Um, in particular, I want to give honors to Sheikh Amadou Bamba, Sheikh Ibrafal, Serene Salih Mbaki, and our beloved Sheikh Sufi Ba. I want to give honors to all of the light beings of this daughter. Give honors to all that are doing their part to uplift fallen humanity, because when man honors man and woman, he honors Almighty Allah. I mean, Islam. I'll go ahead and put my Islam. Assalamu alaikum, family. And um, again, just um, honored to be here. I want to give a special um, debt of Jeff to Sheikh Mustafa, Sheikh Bilal, of course, Sheikh uh, Sufi Ba for not only allowing me to take the bayat, but also allowing me the opportunity to share my measure of understanding um, with you all, which is minuscule compared to um, those light beings before me. So I'm a baby in this. So um, inshallah, I pray that this will be of benefit to someone and that of this presentation, which is a benefit. I give all praise to Allah, that which is an error. Um, put the blame on myself and I ask that you pardon me and, be, and I appreciate your patience. So at this time, I'm gonna go ahead and um, start the presentation. Share it. Hope that you all can see it. Um, give me one moment here. Okay. All right. You and Allah are one is the title of the presentation. And uh, this is just to give some insight on what was on my mind when I received the, um, when we talked about actually putting this presentation together, or I, I should say having a conversation with Sheikh, um, Sheikh Mustafa and Sheikh Bilal uh, on this. So kind of give, give a, kind of give a background in this course, you and Allah are one, la ilaha illallah, which is on top of here. When I took my bayat, I had the opportunity to have a conversation uh, with the two sheikhs that I mentioned. And one of the things that I asked was, uh, you know, now that I took my bayat and I'm a part of this order, you know, what advice would you give me as far as my approach to walking this path in Tarakat? And um, Sheikh, Sheikh Bilal said, La ilaha illallah. I remember him saying that in the beginning is La ilaha illallah. In the, in the end, it's La ilaha illallah. Everything in between, you know, is um, is the journey. So, this, um, and I'm paraphrasing, but that always stuck with me because even before taking my bayat, I would recite this. La ilaha illallah, um, and it's done wonders for me. It's been it's been my staple in terms of keeping focus on Allah. So that kind of speaks to this at this time. Um, 
and we had this conversation during Ramadan. Of course, we uh, we just left Ramadan. Ramadan, this Ramadan has been the best Ramadan ever. I've had, you know, of course, practice Ramadan earlier years, but this is special. This has been special to me because of the fact that I took my bayat, I um, became a part of this, and the blessings have been coming through. So, alhamdulillah. Um, and this also ties in with a lot of my teachings. Uh, for those of you who may or may not know, I am a member of the Moore Science Temple of America here in Durham, North Carolina. And so I will be referencing um, from our teachings, the teachings of Noble Drali, who we affectionately refer to as Prophet Noble Drali, the American prophet who came to the Asiatics in America of Moore's descent to uplift them. Um, taking them, redeeming them from the fallen stage of humanity back to the highest plane of life with Allah. So I'm going to go to the next slide. And I also want to just let it be known, family, if um, you have any questions, I encourage questions. I encourage um, any feedback, any thoughts, or even concerns. Um, so I hope this is a benefit to you. So I'm going to start first off with an uh, excerpt from the Circle Seven. And it says, quote, teach them that Allah and man are one, but that through carnal thoughts and words and deeds, man tore himself away from Allah, debased himself. Teach that the holy breath would make them one again, restoring harmony and peace. And this is from chapter two, verses 18 and 19. And just to give a backstory to this uh, passage, this is in relationship to a story and account of Elizabeth and Mary. Elizabeth being the mother of John the Baptist and Mary being the mother of Jesus. And they were in this account, they were in Zoan, Egypt, and they went to the sacred grove to be taught. And they were taught by two teachers, one of them named Elihu, and the other one named Salome. And Elihu in this passage is talking to them about their sons being the long promised sons. Uh, Jesus being referred to as love made manifest and John the Baptist being made referred to as purity um, made manifest. So here he's telling them, the mothers to teach their sons that Allah and man are one, but that through carnal thoughts and words and deeds, man tore himself away from Allah. So one of the things we do in our practice, uh, Sufi practices, is we say a stock for Allah. We we went through the uh, 100 stock for Allah, and that's to keep us back in focus with Allah, because we are seeking refuge or forgiveness for thinking of anything outside of Allah. A carnal thought, words, or deeds are are those thoughts, those words, or deeds that are centered on anything other than Allah. The word carnal means related to the flesh, um, where you get the word carn, incarnate, reincarnate. Um, so these are fleshly thoughts, fleshly words, fleshly deeds, things dealing with the lower self, the things that can pass away because this body is not yours. Um, or I should say it's not permanent. You know, man is not the body nor the soul. He's a spirit and a part of Allah. So this fleshly world that we're in, these, these thoughts about, you know, you know, going to the party, going, you know, what's the latest thing happening? What, the sports, um, with the new car, you know. Oh, I like her, I like him. All these things are carnal thoughts. These thoughts and these words, they 
take ourselves away from the focus of Allah because la ilaha illallah. Allah is the only reality. Of course, la ilaha illallah, we say from an exoteric level, means there's no God but Allah. But from an esoteric standpoint, it is that there is no reality but Allah. Allah is the only reality. So that is where we meet to be one with Allah at. Because there, there is only Allah and nothing else, as Sheikh Sufi Ba has taught us. So also teaching that the holy breath would make them one again, restoring harmony and peace. One of the things that we teach um, in more science stemming from the questionnaire, the Morris questionnaire, the question is asked, a series of questions is asked, but one is that is asked is what is truth? The answer to that is truth is a lot. What is truth? Truth is a lot. I stop for a What is truth? Truth is ought. That's the answer. What is ought? Ought is a lot. Can truth change? Truth cannot change or pass away. What other name do we give to truth? Holy breath, right? So this holy breath is another term that we use for truth because truly the holy breath, which is the essence that resides within you is that which attunes you with the law. It is the expression of Allah. And we're gonna get into how that ties in. Even when you deal with the word spirit, the word spirit comes from a Latin word, spiritus, which means breath. So when you say the Holy Spirit, the Holy Breath is the same thing. And so even those who practice um, such uh, disciplines such as Qigong or Tai Chi um, and the Taoist practice, they recognize the importance of the breath, Qi, that energy from the breath, Qi, as in Reiki, Chi, as in Tai Chi. Uh, in Kemet, they use the word Sekhem. In the Vedic texts and Hinduism, they use Prana. But all of these ties into that essence of the, the essence that is within what we call breath. Not just breath of meaning oxygen, but it's the essence of energy, the essence of life that is within the breath. And when you know how to use that holy breath and to channel it, it actually restores harmony and peace, right? So it's important for us to recognize how to be in harmony and be one with the law again through the holy breath. And so we don't get to this point where we're at now or we have been where we were debased. To debase means to degrade, to be at the lowest level to be it like right now, you'll hear people talk about being in beast mode. Oh, my man, he's a beast, you know, or he's a dog, a cat. We use an animalistic terms to refer to oneself as opposed to saying, you're a God, you're a divine being, you're an angel. You know, a lot of people are using it or they think the highest term is to be the goat. Well, a goat is an animal. So it, that's not the highest thing, but these are animalistic thoughts. These are references of the lowest self that we have to learn to elevate above to be one with the law. So taking us to the next slide. Um, this is from Al-Quran, the 15th surah, the 29th ayat. And this is um, the Sahih International Translation. And it says, quote, and when I, Allah, have proportioned him, Adam, and breathed into him of my soul, then fall down to him in prostration. Um, in certain translations, you'll have, it says my spirit, right? The term is Arabic is ruhi. Um, Men ruhi, so that ro, that soul, or that spirit. So speaking about Allah breathing into Adam from Himself, and even in the Bible, even in the um, 
Genesis chapter two, verse seven, the term is uh, breathed into man the breath of life and man became a living soul. So even in the Bible, it speaks about Allah breathing into us this breath of life, this holy breath. So each one of us is walking around with the essence of Allah within us by way of this breath that gives us life. Right. And of course, this was um, taking the passage of when Allah was uh, communicating with the angels to tell them to bow down and they all bow down except Iblis. So this is important to recognize what makes us unique as being one with Allah. It just I just referred to the Holy Bible. We're going to go with this quote here. Uh, this is in the New Testament. And it says in the quote that, and when he, Jesus, Isa, or Yahshua, was demanded of the Pharisees when the kingdom of God should come, he answered them and said, the kingdom of God cometh not with observation. Neither shall they say lo here or lo there. For behold, the kingdom of God is within you. And that's from the book of Luke or the gospel according to Luke chapter 17 verses 20 to 21. So you see a pattern. I'm going into different records to show the comparison as to uh, where we find that you and Allah are one. There is no separation. And all of the, the spiritual texts, the spiritual writings spoke of this. But again, through carnal thoughts and words and deeds and misinterpretations of a lot of these records, we've been tricked into thinking that Allah is, some, is a being outside of us, that Allah got to come from a place called heaven. One of the things we teach in more science is that heaven is not a place measured by meets and bounds. It is a state of mind. And also that we create our own heaven and hell. So here we are seeing that the kingdom of God is within you. This is what Jesus is reported to have said. So if the kingdom of God, the kingdom of Allah is within you and Allah is al-Malik, the king and residing in the kingdom, then where do you think Allah resides in? Allah resides within us because you have to recognize that we've been, we've been tricked into looking things outside of ourselves. And clearly he's saying it doesn't come from observation. You're not going to observe heaven come down. You're not going to observe some um, hippie looking person coming down out of a cloud in a robe saying, come my children. No, the divine is within each and every one of us. And alhamdulillah for Sheikh Ahmed Dubamba, alhamdulillah for uh, Sheikh Sufi Ba for these teachings. Um, it's really truly been a blessing for, us, for me personally to dive in further into the search of connecting with the Allah within me. And so alhamdulillah. Now I'm going to read from a text, the Upanishads. I'm oh, sorry, let me go back. The Upanishads. And this is a Vedic text. Um, so just again, this right here is very, to me, this is a very important and very insightful quote um, that I came across. And it speaks so much, it lines up perfectly with everything that's taught in his daughter. And it says, quote, the Brahman, which has been thus described as immortal, is the same as the ether which is around us. And the ether which is around us is the same as the ether which is within us. And the ether which is within us, that is the ether within the heart. That ether in the heart as Brahman is omnipresent and unchanging. 
he who knows this obtains omnipresent and unchangeable happiness. And this is from the Upanishads, the 12th Kanda, verses 7 to 9. So to, to, give, to give some clarity, the word Brahman is a term used to denote the absolute reality, the ultimate reality. In other words, Allah. So if we were to um, replace the term Brahman with Allah, then it would read as such. Allah, which is thus, has been thus described as immortal, is the same as the ether which is around us, and the ether which is around us is the same as the ether which is within us. And the ether which is within us, that is the ether within the heart. That ether in the heart as Allah is omnipresent and unchanging. He who knows this obtains omnipresent and unchangeable happiness. So one of the things we also teach in more science in the questionnaire, the question exacts, who made you? Allah. Who is Allah? Allah is the father of the universe. Can we see him? No. Where is the nearest place we can meet him? In the heart. It's spoken in the circle seven that Allah's meeting place is in the heart. So this is exactly the exact same thing. And um, um, that are dropping honors to uh, Sheikh, Sheikh uh, Idris, who Idris Ba, who mentioned in an earlier discourse about Allah being in the heart of man and woman, right? Because truly when you deal with that heart center, that kalb, right? That's where you find Allah. And Allah is love. And this essence of Allah within us is omnipresent and unchanging. That means that Allah in the heart of me is the same as Allah in the heart of you, and it's unchanging. And Allah is ought, and ought, truth is ought, and ought is Allah. And truth cannot change or pass away. So Allah being that truth, the essence, the only reality, doesn't change. The only thing that's changing is the form. We are all expressions or projections in this matrix. And as Sheikh Sufi Ba says, in order to get out of the matrix, you have to get with one who is outside of the matrix. You have to be with a living guide who is who transcends the matrix. So as we uh, say in, in the more science, can cross the borderland at will. So uh, to me, that when I came across this passage, it, it was very powerful speaking to the essence of recognizing Allah in us, right? And that Allah in us is omnipresent and unchanging. To know that Allah is in you and doesn't change truly puts you in a state of mind. Um, truly put you in a state of mind. And that is your heaven. That is your heaven because Allah resides in you. So I'm going to go, in, um, go into the next, get to the next one. Here we go. The great Rumi, everybody talks about Rumi, right? This is uh, a quote that I'm sure many people have heard, uh, particularly in this daughter. I searched for Allah and found only myself. I searched for myself and only found Allah, right? So in us searching for Allah, we find ourselves. And in searching for ourselves, we find Allah. Um, in the circle seven, it says, know thyself and Allah in the inside cover. And there's a reason for that. Um, and this is, a, and I have to keep referencing the circle seven. I have to keep referencing the teachings of Noble Jurali because that's what brought me here. Uh, it was a confirmation. Everything that Sheikh Sufi Ba spoke about was a confirmation of what I was already studying uh, for the past 10 or so years in the Moore Science Temple. So I, I've said many times to um, others that you can't know yourself 
without knowing Allah. And you can't know Allah without knowing yourself. It's impossible. That's why the statement is in there. Know thyself and Allah. You have to be able to recognize at some point that you and Allah are one. So all you're doing is getting into the consciousness of Allah, right? And the way you get into the consciousness of Allah is through the practices. The zikr, the weird, all of this puts you into um, God consciousness, Allah consciousness, right? And is taught in the third chapter of Circle 7 um, about if you were to ask me what to study, I would reply yourselves. And if you would study well and ask me again, I would reply what to study next. I would reply yourselves. I'm paraphrasing. But that was a question, that was a statement that was also posed by Elihu because the greatest study is the study of self. And when we speaking of self, study yourselves, um, we're speaking of the, the higher self and the lower self. You have to know the higher self and the lower self. You have to know that which is the illusion, which is the higher self to know the difference from the illusion and truth. There's only two things. There's truth and there's falsehood. Truth, we already know truth is a law. So anything outside of a law is a falsehood. Um, Sheikh Sufi Ba spoke about the atom, you know, the atom being on the other side of zero, right? We're identifying with things that are made up of atoms, and these atoms don't exist outside of our consciousness of them. So once you come to that reality in searching of the true self of, of, of consciousness, of awareness of being, there's only a lot. The search for yourself is the only find of luck, right? So that is the beauty of this journey that we're on, you know, in finding ourselves and finding a lot. So I wanted to uh, also give a, uh, I should say, read or use a quote from a passage in this book, What is the Higher Self? This is a book that I, one of the books that I've, uh, written and published. I'm a published author, and I wanted to take the time to uh, use an excerpt of this, and it goes totally in line with uh, everything that um, my studies as well, what I'm studying right now with the, these um, teachings, these Sufi teachings. So this is from page 104 of, of that book. It says, quote, Love, that is divine love, is the essence of the higher self, which is a law in man. The gateway to the higher self is the spiritual heart, which is the nearest place to meet a law. In order for one to effectively meet a law, their spiritual heart must become pure. Purity in heart comes from controlling one's thoughts, words, and deeds, one must become centered on the higher self, Allah in man. Noble Drew Ali once said, Allah is love. The 47th attribute of Allah is al wadud the loving, right? And I just want to take time to also, to add to that, um, the passage uh, from the Quran, the 11th surah in the 90th verse where it says, ask forgiveness of your Lord and then turn unto him, lo, my Lord is merciful, loving. So when we speak about the purity in heart, and I wanna um, say alhamdulillah for this record, destruction of the lower self, because this record right here, and I have a quote also in this presentation coming up, this record right here really spoke to me about the importance of purification in thought and how to actually do it, not just to say it. You know, it's one thing to say, yeah, become pure at heart, but what are the practices? What is the practical approach, the methods 
to do such a thing. And uh, I want to read really quick from here. And this is uh, the section where Sheikh Sufi Ba speaks about the seven levels of the soul. And he starts off with the quote from the Holy Quran. He indeed succeeds who purifies it. The way of the Sufi is taskil tunas, purification of the soul. The Sufi journey takes place on the plane of the soul. Sufism is the science that returns the soul, nafs, to its original state of purity before the fall of man. What is man? Man is a divine being having a human experience. Man is a being of light. Man is not the body, mind, emotions, feelings, senses, or anything related to the five elements. Man is spirit clothed with soul that is clothed with the body. Man in his nature is spirit, rule, and soul, nafs. The spirit is pure light, one with Allah. I just want to stop right there um, because what this spoke to me, first off, this is, this right here was all chapter one of the circle seven. The first chapter in, in the circle seven is the creation and fall of man. And it clearly speaks about the three stages, this, um, the spirit plane, the plane of soul, and the plane of things made manifest or what we call the physical plane, right? And recognizing that in order to get back to the highest plane of life, that spirit plane and beyond, there must be a purification process, right? And that's the journey, that's the Sufi journey. So chapter one in the circle seven is basically the Sufi journey. Um, without a foe, a soldier never knows his strength. So this, these foes, these enemies, the four enemies, right? Which is Nafs, Hawa, Dunya, and Shaitan. These are the foes that we have to go. We have to, or I should say, go against and fight to conquer, to show ourselves approved, to be the might of Allah. Uh, and right here is another quote from Destruction of the Lower Self. And this is actually the last um, slide and this kind of sums it up where Sheikh Sufi Ba says, this is the grand mystery. Allah is the only reality. Allah, the master and the true self of the seeker are in fact one, light upon light, nur ala nur. So Sheikh Sufi Ba is telling us that the master that one is seeking and the true self of the seeker of the master are the same or one and the same. So you are seeking yourself. Allah, you are seeking yourself because the higher self is Allah in you. And this ego, this, this, um, as Sheikh Sufi Ba talking about, we're schizophrenic. We're dealing with schizophrenia. We're thinking that we're, um, Terrence Jones or Shanika Johnson or whoever, right? Thinking these is names and forms. And there's a quote from Plato that says um, about the mask or the mask which the actors wear is apt to become his face. The word persona is Latin for mask. So when somebody said they got this persona, Literally, they're saying that they have on a mask. So we all put on this mask, but it's almost like the old CB4 movie, where which is basically based off of, you know, every gangster rapper that's out here, where they're acting as something that they're not. You know, they really think if they're in a the video, they pulling up the guns and everything, or what have you, that that's really them, when that's not them. Right, you, you're basically to give the analogy, you're Prince Akeem in coming to America. You you went to Queens from Zamunda and taking on the role of a goat herder, 
working at McDowell's when really you're the prince, you're the princess, you're royalty, right? But you're taking on this form and this illusion just to go back to where you came. And so this is the grand mystery. Allah is the only reality. Allah, the master and the true self of the seeker are in fact one light upon light. And, and uh, that is pretty much my demonstration, uh, my discourse of now. Uh, and again, I, I pray inshallah that this was of, of help to someone. And, and I'll go ahead here and stop sharing. Islam family. So um, again, I appreciate everyone. If you have any questions, like I said, open to any questions, any comments, any thoughts, concerns um, about what I shared thus far. And again, um, Dr. Jeff. I see the um the chat. Okay, let me see here. Okay. Okay. Uh what books are great for studying Kabbalah? That's a great question. Um uh, Askia Bay. Um there's a book on Kabbalah that I have, matter of fact. Give me one moment. I'm going to show it to y'all quickly. All right. I don't know if y'all can see this book. This book right here is called The Holy Kabbalah by A.E. Waits. I'll go ahead and type it in. But this is a great book. It's a thick book, but um, it pretty much gives you everything in terms of Kabbalah, uh, breaking down the sephira, uh, getting into gematria, uh, and let me see. One of the things I like about this is that it also talks about, it gives a breakdown of the seven days um, in terms of, it ties in a lot with uh, what we teach in more science. So you're welcome. You're welcome. Let me go ahead. I'll just type that in. Try to type this in for family. And my computer is not acting right. Okay, here we go. Holy Kabbalah. By A.E. Wait. Yeah, definitely check that out. Y'all can get it on, on Amazon. Um, breakdown. Let me see here. See if I got that. No. What I would do, I don't have it listed right here, but it is in reference to go to, I want to say the chapter, one of the later chapters. I'm trying to pull it up right now. The later chapter is finished. Wish I had it. I have to get back to you. I, I promise you. <laughs> I used to have it down back, but because this is a thick book. This is a thick book. Um, I will definitely, I will definitely um, share that when I give it to Islam. Islam, appreciate it. Um, any other questions? Any other questions? Be happy to do my best to answer.
Ether Native, you're welcome, bro. Welcome, family. Islam. Bismillah. Assalamu alaikum, brother. Wa alaikum salam. Alhamdulillah, Dada Jeff, for your presentation this evening. Um, you you answered actually the question I was gonna ask as far as what would make you join a crazy old Sufi school like this one, Astaghfirullah. But uh is 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 if you wanted to expound on that, just you know, your 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 journey through the Morris Science Temple, what was it specifically about uh uh these teachings of Sheikh Ahmadu Bamba that 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 gravity that helped you gravitate and i just wanted to again say thank you because these we have to hear these over and over again like the check teaches we have to hear these teachers over and over again because it's so easy to forget that we're dealing with allah in every facet of life inshallah so whether we're at work significant others things of that nature even speaking to myself as well too that we i gotta we gotta remember there's a lot we're dealing with and um out of those four enemies, I know the Sheikh has taught us that the nafs is the most difficult, alhamdulillah. So we can we can beat the shaitan, we can beat the beat the howard and the dunya. And then we gotta deal with self, inshallah. So all praise is just just we appreciate your discourse for that. If you did want to try, uh, expound on it, you can, but I know you answered the question or stop flow. Oh, oh yeah, absolutely. Absolutely Sheikh. Um gratitude, Dr. Jeff. Um what brought me in, I want to just share this. I didn't get it. I never had a chance to share this. And um, I've been wanting to tell Check Sufi about this. He probably already knows. But about 10 years ago, our, our paths crossed. And what I mean by that is around 10 years ago, matter of fact, it was, I believe, in April. Um, I had published a book, Who is Elohim? And I was invited 10 years ago to get on a blog talk radio show by a Moore sister. And I got on the show and guess who else happened to be there? Sheikh Sufi Ba. He actually appeared on After Me. Now we never had a chance to talk, but um, it brought to my attention. I caught his, um, his demonstration, what he was teaching on. And I also saw videos. This is way back. Um, so it's been a long time, astaghfirullah. And, um, but I recognize law governs all events. And what I ended up, you know, I recognize what for me is that in the Moore Science Temple of America, we say you, you find yourself where you can solve your problems best. And it was things that I needed to learn within the Moore Science Temple of America, which I'm still a member of, and uh, praise Allah, I'm, I'm, I'm so thankful for the teachings of Noble Dra Ali. Um, I recognize upon the journey that with these teachings that the prophet gave us, Noble Dra Ali, he, I had to learn truly how to apply. You get what I'm saying? I had to apply these things. So, the way it worked was, and I want to say Dada Jeff to my brother, um, Sheikh Mukhtar L, uh, Alindi L, K. Alindi L, both of the Alindi L brothers, um, as well as um, Sheikh Seven Islam L, um, coming to my knowledge that they were a part of the daughter and having conversations. And so that let me know that it was possible for me to participate. Um, but it, it really, honestly, everything that Sheikh Sufi Ba, I've heard Sheikh Sufi Ba say, lines up with everything that is taught in more science. If you recognize the esoteric teachings within more science, because everybody, you know, just to be honest, the stock filler, everybody doesn't necessarily recognize those those higher esoteric teachings that, that Noah Drali taught. But once you find it and you're able to see it for it to be for it to take place, um, I just came back from Philly, North Philly. And I just, you know, you 
you mentioned to me that um, Sheikh Sufi Ba used to be in North Philly. So alhamdulillah, law governs all events. So it is just Allah letting me know that I'm in the right place. Everything is synchronistic. So I'm I'm truly um, I'm truly grateful to Allah to to come to the school. Alhamdulillah, brother Teddy Jeff, and we are humbled and honored to have you part of the family, good brother Teddy Jeff. It's not well. I don't have if um if there's if there's no other questions that anyone else has. Again, uh, I appreciate everyone. Islam. 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 Quick question: How how did you get into the Kabbalah studies? Oh, my Kabbalah studies started pretty early within studying more science. Uh, when I put together the Who is Elohim book, like I approached it from the language aspect. Of course, Elohim being uh, a Hebrew word. So first, it progressed. Of course, I went through the Bible, went into the uh, strong concordance. My studies in the strong concordance got me into the lexicon. And then I started to see certain patterns in the language. Um, and that that kind of sparked my interest. And then I came across the teachings of Kabbalah. And then to know the references of the, the different terms um, with the sephira, um, again, with the four worlds coinciding with the tetragrammaton and all of this, it just seemed like there was something there for me to look further into. So that's really what um, sparked it. And of course, I came across um, various other teachers um, and brothers who was uh, studying that, um, give honors to uh, the brother, Dr. Aleem El Bay, uh, who's also here in North Carolina, um, he actually put me on to that book, the the Holy the Holy Kabbalah book. So that's how it started. Islam, she. Islam. Yeah, the Kabbalah is um definitely is definitely a um it's a vast science. It's a vast discipline as far as where it can take you. And I don't claim to be an, uh, an expert per se in it. Uh, there's so much to it. What I've been able to do is take certain components, at least in my studies, um, and tie it in to what is in the Circle Seven, what is taught in the Circle Seven, um, of course, also in the Bible as well. And kind of my thing has always been comparative, comparative studies. Uh, what are the parallels between one system or one religion, one spiritual system and another? And if I can find a connection between them, then I'll work with it um, because I, I recognize that truth is but one. Um, when we're able to see the, the commonalities of these things, then we don't dive so much into the religious debate. You know, the beautiful thing about this Sufi order is that it has brothers and sisters from all different disciplines, be it um, more Science Temple, Nation of Islam, Gods and Earths, um, you know, Christian, it, you know, it even it's so many different demonstrations that everyone is able to come together and see the truth, you know, because truth doesn't change or pass away. So that's the beauty of it. And that's what um, I've always strived to do when I write. And so, alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah.
Yeah, gra gratitude for all the questions, gratitude for um, all the feedback. And um, I, again, uh, you can uh, reach out to me if anyone's interested afterwards to communicate with me. Um, I'll put up my email. I'm also on um, social media as well, um, which is uh, Facebook, Instagram, and all that good stuff. And my YouTube channel as well. I have a YouTube channel. But I'm going to go ahead and post this here. Right. And that's my email. You can check me out if it, you know, um, you want to communicate with me. Um, but again, I appreciate everyone. I appreciate everyone for um, allowing me to to share to share the little that I know. And I don't want to talk much because they say to talk much is foolishness and folly. Um, gratitude shake, gratitude shake. Yeah, that's my um, YouTube channel link posted up in the chat as well. So definitely check me out. Uh, Want to give a give a honors to um, again, uh, Sheikh uh, Sheikh Seven Islam Il. He also has a YouTube channel as well, as well as um, Sheikh Bilal, who's been on it, and uh, of course uh, my brother, the the Alindi L brothers out of Virginia. Um, yeah, that's that's it, more that's it, beloveds. So again, gratitude, and I, I won't tarry on much longer. I, I'll give the floor back to my brother, Sheikh Mustafa. Bismillah, stuck for law, stuck for law, stuck for law. Forgive me for calling us crazy, y'all. Y'all, all praises. Alhamdulillah, it is uh, again a, a, a humbling honor to host his brother today, check his page out. He has some uh, powerful talks with some esteemed guests as well, inshallah. Um, I see my good brother. I have, I got a, I got a call on him because I love him so much. Sheikh Bilal Falo, are, are you available to close us out with a prayer this evening, inshallah? Assalamu alaikum, Sheikh Bilal Oh, Sheikh Sally, good to hear your voice as well. I just wanted to say I enjoyed the presentation and um I've been checking brother um Shake Bill out for a minute. I seen him on the Let's Think podcast with Shake Seven. And I just want to tell that brother, I thought he was part of the Dara. I heard that I um heard that um presentation years ago on the podcast when you came on first and then um Shake Sufi Bob came in. So I just want to say it was a pleasure and hope and Whoever I haven't met in person, hope to meet all of y'all in person soon. Inshallah. Inshallah. Gratitude, brother. Dr. Jeff. Appreciate that. Inshallah. To close everything out, brothers, um, a little piece of a facade. Bihaki Wajika. Sheikh Afanu Bamba. Rahim <laughs> تكفر كل من حفيدك من الوباء بفضل الله تعالى وحيا سبعة فيان بعثيا لأبنا بحفيد حل واجه الله تعالى بهك واجك الكريم يا حفيز واجي لي غير يا غليز إلى سواه زبي واجه وباء يا من سفع دائما لواخبا لواجك الكريم لا تواجه لدارا وعليم ما يواجه أتت عني أيوبي مع يا من منايا لي بأمني جامحا كي أيالي الوبع الله أتن ولا إله 
الله ظلمين ما خاف أبدا نسلم وأبدا يخاعيون من زلم فجاءني البقي بأنفع سرور غير سلامه على الحدي البشير سبحان ربي قريب اللي زاد يا مياسفون وسلامون على المرسلين وماي peace be upon the Muslims that's you and me الحمد لله رب العالمين وكيسرين توبة Barkasering tuba, 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 barkasering tuba,